Yo. Look at these nice new uh, tools I got from Sorbo. They send them to me. cleaning a restaurant. It's the middle of the winter in Michigan and um, it's interesting that I'm here actually cleaning the windows and uh, this is fun. This is one of my oldest clients. All these windows on this patio were an add-on to the restaurant. This used to be all canvas and then they remodeled it. So I've been doing this client for seven years now. I came in here in the middle of the winter like seven years ago I was flat broke and I was this is one of the 42 window cleaning accounts that I sold in 48 hours when I was totally desperate. And I came in here and I talked to the owner and I said I forgot my belt. It's been so long, but that's okay. There's not enough soap in this water. You should see white bubbles, suds. I gotta add some more soap real quick. One of my favorite things to do is to listen to audiobooks while cleaning windows. Uh, I'm finishing this book up right now by Tom Wheelwright called The Tax-Free Wealth. And it's all about, I mean, that uh, corporation, setting up trusts, protecting your business, protecting your assets and it's, it's financial education and it's, I'm so excited about learning about this stuff because the book cost $15, $15. Do you know how much you would have to pay to sit down with a, you know, a CPA who's helped run a billion dollar company uh, in, Kiyos in assets with Kiyosaki and all that, Robert Kiyosaki? How much would you have to pay to sit down? And for $15 you can get books, man, no excuses. Tool caddy. So, um, one thing that I did this year that changed my life, well, last year, I uh, was hire a bookkeeper and I would have argued with you at any time in my life that that was the, the dumbest way to spend your money because I couldn't afford it. And uh, I used this guy Dan Plata from Blue Skies Bookkeeping. So, so valuable. I won't talk about you, but I said I was beating myself up all the time because I didn't have the time 
to, to calculate every transaction and reconcile everything in my QuickBooks kept falling apart and it was a mess and then I felt guilty I thought I didn't have the time and then I tried it. It's like, hire your bookkeeper. Check this out. The water fed pole system is completely frozen like a rock because it's only like 19 degrees outside. So we're, I'm inside of this restaurant I'm putting boiling hot water on this to get it to thaw out so it'll work outside. This is boiling hot. Usually we can just put it in the truck for half an hour, but this was what makes window cleaning hard in the freezing winter. If you're trying to do any like water fed pull work, which is uh, pretty necessary when it comes to safety or efficiency. Take the squeegee work. This is the Gardiner Extreme from Detroit Sponge. I'll put a link below if you're interested in this. What's up, Harry? Hey. <laughs> you been working out? Uh, a little bit. I can tell. I hurt myself the other day. I can't. My lower back is fucking killing me right now. See if it's working now. This is the Unger Hydropower System, DI resin. And this is where I'm getting the water from in this restaurant. Turn this up a little. There we go. Yeah, now. Oh, so beautiful. Uh, I gotta go real quick. Eric Reno's calling me. I think he's gonna start making YouTube videos again. So I'll be on the friend on the phone with Eric Reno. This he is a five million dollar business in real estate and all this stuff. He's one of my best friends and he's a great guy. But uh, I'll get all excited about an idea or a dollar amount that I think is a big deal, and then Eric will be dead serious. He'll be like, he'll almost be embarrassed. He'll be like, that's peanuts, bro. Like four hundred thousand dollars is peanuts. This is twenty twenty one. But he's not trying to say that to be mean. Like it's literally peanuts to him. And then I and I get off the phone with him and I'm like, and then I have to meditate and think about how that really is peanuts and how I need to step my game up. <laughs> it's it's an amazing thing having uh, friends that are in a totally different field, a whole totally different ball game because it's constantly giving you something to aspire to. Now I'm going to grab some lunch. Man, this Little Caesars pizza is so bad for you. I don't normally eat it. I usually pack a lunch, but I'm not here working every day, so let's eat some delicious pizza. Here we go. Oh, the pizza. So, Brian, who's my dedicated bookkeeper at uh, Blue Skies Bookkeeping and Financial Services, they've, uh, well, it's Blue Skies Bookkeeping, but they're right now sending me an income statement and a balance sheet and a, 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 to go with my P&L statements, which are kind of similar things, but so I can see what my business made list of like everything line item by line item exactly where every penny is going in and out and then categorized in its own specific category now i've done stuff like this in the past i've been doing it for years but not to this level not to this level where everything is accounted for usually everything was just more lumped together not regarding my taxes but in day-to-day -day operations of life and business it was just everything was lumped in categories, but now everything is literally reconciled down to the penny. So having your own small landscaping or window cleaning business, is it's, a, it's an exciting thing. It's something to get excited about again, because now you have your own little business where you can 
run it like a big business and develop these little systems and get your your marketing ironed out, get all your numbers, get everything ironed out and get it super, super clean like a well-oiled little machine. And so you can have this little Petri dish and see how it all works while going through it and operating it during the day today. So you can work in it and on it at the same time and learn all these hyper valuable lessons before you hit the gas pedal or throw you know, uh, gas on the fire and try to expand anything, right? You can expand the top as you dissolve the bottom, dissolve the bottom as you use. If you go and you just try to expand a bunch of stuff real fast, you're also expanding the chaos as well. So my guy was trying to clean the window. By the time he got the pull out, the whole thing froze like solid, like a rock. And he couldn't clean the windows with the water fed pole, all that time wasted. And now we're trying to clean the windows with the squeegees and it's turning to ice on the windows. So now we gotta go to AutoZone and get windshield washer solvent. Hey look, it's my other truck. I got it parked here. I gotta move it. The battery's dead. Ah. My guy's cleaning up all these leaves. So I can move this truck over. I gotta jump it. There goes the tarp. It's getting away. Sometimes the YouTube fans will find this truck here and then they'll leave little notes for me. on new Mahindra or choose 0% what? interest on select Jay. Oh, it started. Yeah, now. Yeah, now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, now. Ah, ah, shit. Ah, 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 shit, now. Oh, wow, it's got a flat tire. Now, should I... Fill up the tire. <laughs> All right, so it, the truck shut off. Doing this again, I gotta go jump it again. And I went in to turn the, the heat on and it just didn't have enough charge. So I gotta go jump it again, right? So I'm like, oh, that's all I thought was, Ugh. But I am fascinated by people who, like, I have to go jump it again. And they go, what, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You, you, what are you doing? Like. Why are you do why are you doing it again? Like and they start freaking out and having this like panic attack saying, Why are you jumping it again? Like you just fucking did that. What is wrong with you? You're insane. You must be stupid. This this is a cr this is crazy. And they totally <laughs> flip out. And so when people do that to me now, like you you can't even tell them why it shut off. I gotta do it again. It's not like it's not the end of the world. This is the way these things work. The, you can't even get I just start laughing and now they get really upset and they get angry. <laughs> and the madder they get, the harder I laugh. <laughs> and then they're like, You're fucking crazy! You're crazy! I'm like, I know, I know it's <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> And then now it becomes this like psychotic banter to me like it's a movie and I just laugh harder harder and harder
There's this RC place right next to my job site. It's been here forever and I've never stopped in here to just take a look. Look at it. Nice. He's good at that. Wow. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. That looks fun. Put a GoPro on that. Oh, wow. These things are insanely fast. I remember these. They go like 70 miles an hour. Now that is sick. Wow. RC. Wait a second. That's only 82 bucks? How's that even possible? The coffee grinds? Yeah, and just pick them up with the bucket. And there's more? There's all types. Stan Genetic, eat your heart out. I might have to get one. I think I gotta get one. <laughs> all right i'm getting it and i'm gonna make a dope video and i might come back and get the other ones over there that's gonna be sweet